Hello! I think it's me. I think Travis is going to tell me me. We did have new music, but you didn't you didn't hear it. Welcome. Welcome to the Plusher Business Show. I'm Martin Sherrington. It is right about 11 a.m. in California. I'm joined by Mo Stovall. She's in California. Uh, Travis is hiding, but he's here uh, in the background there. He'll come to the foreground soon. Aurora Bince is here, too. We're going to have a chat today. I'm going to come and say hello to them. You can wave. You can say hello. Uh, I can see Janine and Sheila and... Uh, Richard Clarkson and Roxanne and Layla and Carmen. I know Layla's walking the dog, so she's not there today, but you'll be watching it later, so hello. Okay, collections. Collections rolled out, I think, Monday this week, so you're probably familiar with them. The first thing to know is that we've got a guy on Plus Your Business, and that is, if you just search for collections, we'll put it in the event there as well, but you search for collections, and you will see the step-by-step -step guide. That done. That's the end of the show. No, no, it's not. Because what we want to do, I want to take this a little bit further for everybody. So if you want to go and check out my collections, you'll see I've put together two. Life and business. So let's just jump to what they are. Collections are a way of you differentiating your content, of you niching your content, and you can move your content from the past, as in the stuff you've already posted, into a collection. There's two ways you can do this, and I want to do, I want to give you a tip on this, okay? It's the first thing. So collections are almost niche categories of your current or your future content that goes from a profile or a page. I don't want to say they're a bit like another platform's boards, but it's a way of differentiating or niching your content. Now, they have an image, they have a name. The reason I said go and have a look at mine, life and business, is that plus your life, plus your business, and we have an academy, and increasingly we're bringing plus your life and plus your business together into the academy. So I am not the best example for people looking to more differentiate their content. I would actually recommend for most people, four or five, four, six, four, something like that would be a good Idea. So six collections is a good thing. The reason I say with mine is that plus your life and plus your business, I'm being consistent across the branding. And so we have one called Life of the Universe and Everything, and one called Business Connecting the Dots. And this is very much the, the, the plus your business show side. So what you want to be doing, tips here for you, firstly, is think about what you do in the world, what you want people to see you doing. Is there some fun stuff? Um, is there some maybe social media or content marketing order and just begin to differentiate out do that as a first step prior to what comes next is moving you can do two ways moving content into the collections that you've chosen when okay here's our, here are the two ways the first way is you go to the upper right of a post that is a public post of yours it cannot be a community post. You can't move community posts in there. You can't move reshares of a community post into a collection. So you go to a public post. You go to the upper right. You click on the drop-down menu, and it says move to collection. If you've got that option, you can move it. And then you choose the drop-down of the, the, the collection name. Okay? There's another way. That And what that does, actually, let me explain. That doesn't reshare it. It doesn't appear in the stream again. People don't see it. It just moves it, and so it's categorized in that particular area. Okay, the next one, it says I'm presenting. I don't know what that means. The next one, um, I don't know if anybody realized that on the outside. Something just popped up on the screen. The next way is that you reshare the post into the collection. Now, the first one I said was move to. And the other one I said is reshare, or share, it should probably be said. You have an existing post, and it doesn't have to be yours. It could be somebody else's. This is where the other option comes in. You go to the little, there's a little drop-down next to the night arrow, the one that goes share. There's a little drop-down menu. And you can, there's two things you can do here. The first one is you can just move it to a collection, and it will give the names of the collection. Or there's actually a reshare. If you do that, pretty sure, this has been a while ago since I did it, then you get to write at the top again, and you basically do a reshare, and it goes into the collection. But people will see that content again as if you were posting it afresh. Now, if you're confused, don't worry. We've got the guide. 
Okay, so the guide is there. So the guide takes you through all of this. It's a guide to Google Plus collections. It is a little bit to get your head around, and it's a little bit different, but essentially, it's a way for you to niche categorize your content. Now, I spoke to David Amland. We were hanging out yesterday, and this is a big thing for Google. One of the things is it actually gives the categories. It says that you are putting your historic content and future content into a category. Your categories are still connected to your profile. And one of the things I've said at the end of the guide is SEO, folks. Google, well, do it the other way. Pinterest boards, the names of Pinterest boards, appear in search. So all I'd say, early days, I've actually got some tests going on at the minute to find out. Early days, but I'm going to give you some tips. If you've got historic activity, lots of plus ones, lots of comments, lots of shares, and you've got built up authority on particular subject matters, and you recategorize those into a higher level collection, and what I mean by that is that you look at if it's content marketing, and you're writing lots of posts about content marketing, have a collection in which is content marketing, and potentially the authority that you've already built up on those existing posts will be moved into that collection, and you never know what might happen. Let's be radical. Let's say that collections, and this is radical, were to appear based upon the people that have you in circles. Let's just say, wouldn't that be crazy? Google Plus posts do that already. So personalized search, you never know. Not only could posts emerge, maybe in the future collections could emerge. I don't know. But start thinking about how you can leverage the authority that you've got on particular subjects and how you can bring that into collections when you're doing it. The names of them therefore matter. If you do content marketing, probably best to call it content marketing or content marketing tips or content marketing for beginners or content or other opposed to great stuff I know about content, for instance. Just thinking categorization. There's a lot I've just said there. And, and I don't have any insiders that I simply say in logic, right? These are links. And we know they get indexed. Everything gets indexed. So just start to look at this a little bit more than chucking the, the collections together. Go a little bit more strategic, which is what I'd encourage for PYB viewers. There we go. Um, thank you, Sheila. Very good guide. like that. And hello to Georgia. And hello to, to, to Marilyn. I don't know. It says I'm presenting. Can I do anything with that? I don't know if you want to invite Sheila and, and Georgia and Georgia Marilyn, if they're watching. Have them in. Pop them in. So, Ronnie, what are your collections, sir? At this point, I only have one. And I did a little bit of research because I post a lot about Hangouts and how you get help with them. So, yes. mine is called uh, Google Hangouts Help. There we go. I like that. Thank you. There you go. Because I my my perspective was that the title, just like you said, is going to have some value from an SEO perspective. And what I've been doing is bringing in prior posts that are popular ones yeah. and putting them into that collection. But I've been using, like you're saying, the move function rather than the share. Yeah. Because if I share it, then it makes another post, in essence, out in the public bef and puts it into the community. I'm going to call it a community. I'm sorry. <laughs> the collection. <laughs> Well, I think it's great that you mentioned that, Ronnie, because let's now look at what you can do. You've got three ways you can share. There's at least three, right? But let's just go for the three. Three ways you can share. You can bring up that post. Is, that post box is incredible, right? So you bring up the post box, and you can share, for instance, the public. Number one, that means that anybody who has you in circles based upon their settings will see that in their stream. For those in level two, you know there's, there's a lot of bits there. Okay, that's the first thing. So that's the post box. The next thing is you can share it into... Instead of public or instead of to circles, you share it into a community. And then it will be distributed. Not only it will show in that community, it will also be distributed into the streams of the people who have the setting on for it to show up in, the, in their stream. So again, you've got another way of it flowing. Okay, and the third way we now have, which is collections. Collections will show up in the streams of the people who are either following you or following the collection. 
both is actually irrelevant because it, it, the first one will cover the cover the second. So so that's now what we've got. We've got we've got three things. So and I know I realise is what we're doing so much with push your business is we're going okay. Well, what when do you do what? And I want to give you a tip on this because it's one that I worked out. I really encourage people to build notify circles and. Uh, some people go. Maybe we don't need to anymore. Maybe we, as in, as in, circles that you notify. You ask people, is it okay if I notify you? And you build an opt-in list and you notify by email. Send an email is what it's now called. I, I I encourage that. I think it's good practice, and and it gets higher level of engagement. And we teach this in level two. I I figured it out that if you still you share to public. Big tip for everybody, okay? You have this circle, which is your, your, your list, and you have to check the email. You share it to start with to that. You get the engagement. People get the notification. They get it in the email. You, you get your first win. Okay, great. You've got people's attention. Wonderful. Then, if you want it to go into your collection after, you then go to the little tab on the upper right, and you click down, and you go move to collection. And then it moves into the collection, and then people will sit in the collection. Now, the reason why, which is important, right, is we're not able to share to this notification circle and to Absolutely. the collection at the same time, at least at this that, point. That is exactly the case. And I, and I put that at the end of the blog post, and I'm giving everybody there. It took me probably a, a few days of playing around to, to figure out that that was probably one of the most useful tips I can give, because I know what's going to happen otherwise. Everyone's going to go... Forget about the circles. We'll just use the collections. It's actually they don't are less likely to be hitting people's emails. So you want to be in control of the emails, and the way to be in control of the emails is to tick that box. Okay. And another another point that I've noticed recently, just as a reminder, you can have a public or a private collection. Yes, and 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 just specific circles. To circles as yeah. well. Yeah. But let's just look at the two two big. Divi dividers or divisions. One's yeah. public and the other's private is, yeah. is one way to look at it. When you share to your collection, if it's a public collection, you're not able to share to the green public address thing. It does no. automatically. It goes there, yeah. Automatically. So when you're first yeah. create, when it's a new post, now we're, we were talking about moving in an existing post into a collection. Yeah. But when you're also having the option that when you're just creating new content, you could post that to the collection. And if it happens to be a public collection, it will also be posted to the public. But you cannot add, just like we mentioned, I'm just giving a different angle, you yeah. can't, can't add your notification circle during that no. posting. No. Anyway, so we're here. If you, if you want to know some more, please get in, get in touch, Johnny. It's, it's a big thing. So it's... it's I, I realize how geeky we are with it. <laughs> I'm, 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 you know, I mean, we're getting into the new, uh, but we may as well do our best to explain it. The guide covers it in a lot more detail than than I can give in a lot more flow. Um, but yeah, I could say some more. And um, there is another thing. Oh, one other thing before we come to a question from from George Cohn. Hello, George. The there is a, a featured collections list, which is a bit like a suggested user list, and if you have one that Google perceive should have a bit more attention, then it might even get on there. Which will mean that you could end up with more followers on a collection than you do on your profile. And people are. And I've done a bit of research and they can see that and that's that's starting to, 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 to do that. Now, I will say, however, it's not about the numbers. Um, you want to look, you want to, you know, always, everyone knows, made a little conversation on this. You know, it, 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 it's another aspect of Google+. Plus. Look at the relationships. Look at finding your 100 evangelists, or 150, and then potentially look at finding your 20, 30, 50, 100 customers, members, or whatever it is the relationships are that are of most value to you. And we're going to talk a lot more about that again. George Cohn. Yeah, I have a question. Your, your workaround of... Um, of um Posting public and and including your notification circle. Yeah. And then later moving to a collection. Yeah. Why why not move it to a collection immediately after doing that post? 
No, yeah, that's what I mean. So that's what I mean. It, later yeah. being just after you've posted. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant wait until you get some. No, 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 no. There's no advantage because it's going to be in people's streams anyway if they have you in the streams for those. Right. For your right. Stuff. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah, but but really think historic in terms of the moves, not just the future. Historic authority that you've been building and, and your profile and your pages have got. Really think about this because all of those shares, every ah, this is I knew I was going to give you something cool. I thought about this last night, right? So, a community, communities appear in search. A community, this is this is probably level. You get some level four stuff here, yeah. level three, level four. Right, a community, you share it in. It's still your profile that it's it's coming from. Okay, so the community, the higher level. URL essentially, even if it's even if it shows that you're in there and it's a community post, if you originated it, well, no, if it's in there, the the community, it, it, it's a different structure to a collection which is still you. So all of the historic activity that you've had on that content, all of the shares, all those plus ones, everything gets connected to that collection. Whereas in a community. It actually stays in your profile to a large extent. If you think about, and I know I'm getting into something a bit weird, and I'm still trying to figure out a few of the factors, but the collections are still you 100%. A community isn't either you 100% because other people, or solely the community taking the authority because it's the people. So what I'm saying is that there's going to be this conversation about collections and communities is one that's going to come up because we changed this week. The timing was, was was timed that we are now supporting members by encouraging academy members, and that's our paid membership, to share their content into the Plus Your Business community to serve the members. And we're doing that exclusive for, for academy members, and we're going to be doing similar things with Plus Your Life, and we share by the page as part of our service and so on. And I'm looking at how the structure and how things are changing on the platform and how behaviors can change. So the timing of this hasn't been accidental. And I think that we need new ways. I said this last time, we need new ways of, of serving members. I'm getting into something totally different. Let's come to Mary. Do you want to say hello, Mary? And then we come to Travis. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Mary. I don't know if you've been playing with collections, but we can just say hello. And you just... I have been playing with them. They're interesting, and that's really all I have to say. I do have one question, actually. It, I haven't seen a way yet to describe why you created a collection. Is it you just, haven't. Really, you, you don't know the reason why you should create. No, collect? I would want people to know why I started a collection. So, do you want you to post that publicly? Yes. You don't know why you would post it publicly to say that you've got the collection. Oh, no, I, no, no. I'm sorry. So, I would want people to understand what that collection is about. Yeah. Like. Why I started it, like a okay, deeper, so you deeper share the collection. So you share the collection, and you would put the context of what what that collection is about when exactly. you're sharing. Yes. But I would say, I mean, I I removed collections from the Plus Your Business community yesterday. I'll, I'll do the same thing in the Plus Your Life community, um, because I, I have the same principle with community management on when people should reshare the communities into another community. I don't think it's good practice. I think people sharing on their profile to the people that follow them, hey, I've got this excuse me, niche piece of content. I think that's really good. I think that's, that's a useful thing if people engage on it. Otherwise, leave it for people. Test it once and then leave it for people to find. Yeah, that. Uh, I'm you. sorry. That wasn't really my point. What I, I, I'm not, I, just, I just ran with it. <laughs> not intending on sharing that public, I, publicly. Just If people found that collection, they would have a deeper understanding of my intent behind the collection. I think the, to to there isn't a description area. That's the thing. I think that's okay. what you're getting at, isn't it? There isn't yeah. a way yet to be describing it. If there was, then we're starting to get into something interesting, very interesting, because I think it was Bill, um, oh, I can't remember, I'd say something named Slavsky. He's a super SEO chat. Yeah. He posted some of the metadata stuff that Google's pulling in from collections. This is. Let's look at this. If you've got great categorization, leaving aside the personal bit, and I know I'm giving her a lot of content, I, I, she, Sheila and Heidi, they go, there's a lot in this, there's a lot in this. The, if you look at search, 
and you look at the principle of search is organizing the world's information. You want the most relevant content to surface for the right people at the right time, okay? These collections, if they are building up, or, and you've got the historic authority, and let's say they were to surface in search, not that they are yet, but if, if they were, then the more data that verifies that this is the right piece of content to surface, the better. So, so keeping it all consistent, telling one story with this, with the information that goes through, is important. Now, there's another point there. Oh, yeah, the why. Posts may not be, if somebody puts in social media tips, a post may or may not be the most appropriate thing to surface because you can take on the relevancy. But if a collection was to surface, instead of, for instance, a Pinterest board or instead of something else, then that serves a person and, let's look at it, brings people back into Google+. Plus. Uh, dramatic pulse. Yeah, same as the post. But if that was incognito, um, but, so let's look at how Google Plus could be spreading through this mechanism and this change. It actually means that the index is totally appropriate for people. Therefore, more people click. They find that they can't comment unless they've got a Google Plus account, or if they are logged in, they're in there and they're brought back into the ecosystem from search and Google Plus directly. This is, you get a lot of stuff that I've been thinking about lately, that's on the show. But anyway, so, Travis, come and say hello. You have, you've been so quiet. We've been, we've been chatting lots about other things. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, wrong me. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I think we've been doing so many tips. I don't think we should do the tips for the week for the different levels. That, think, yeah, we're going to run out. We're going <laughs> to run out. We'll keep it for next week. I think we, we probably focus on collections. I think you've probably got a lot, everybody. So how have you been this week, Travis? It's, it's... I've been interesting. I, my son's birthday's coming up this weekend, so I'm like I'm on the I'm on the run. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I've found collections. I haven't messed around with collections other than um, watching and looking at others, uh, seeing what they're doing. Yeah. Um, one of the things I've noticed that you know I suppose this happens with anything new that comes out on a platform like this but some people are just blown it up you know they they've already got like 50 collections out there my streams just full of full of them so i'm kind of excited to wait for that to simmer down the one thing <laughs> i'm wondering is um inside the collection can you rearrange your order no see not, i think not, not as it is. It's, it's based on date it's based on date. See, I think it'd be interesting to be able to rearrange it because then you could put it together, you know, in a story format if you wanted to, as it builds. Sure. You know, but I, yeah. we'll see. Hey. So I have, a, I have a clarifying question on the based on date because my experience wasn't what I expected. Um, I got some of my older popular posts and I put them into the collection, but the order that I added them was seemingly where it showed up, like the most recent addition to the collection went up higher even though the post may have been an earlier oh, really? post. Yeah, it seemed to be based on when I was I adding. I, I haven't, I just went back historically. So, oh no, 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 actually I went back historically I think on, on, on quite a few. I need to, we need to test that. Somebody wants to, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, which, yeah. Would, which would make the idea of removing it and then adding it again at a different time or a different order important. So just realize when you do remove things from collections, then they don't get deleted. But if you were to delete them from within a collection, it will delete that post. So it's well, not... Say that again, Ronnie, because that is so important. I'll put it in the blog post. But tell everybody, what happens if you delete a collection? Yeah, if you delete your collection, then all the posts that are in it, from what I understand, get deleted. Meaning Correct. they're no longer visible, even though they might have right. been a year don't, old. They're gone. Don't delete the collection. Yeah, so don't then delete your collection. You want to remove. So they're not really they're not really separate. Then they're they're f fully tied together. Yeah, and that, and yes, so yes, and if you don't want a post in a collection, you can click on the upper right when you're in the collection. You see the the, the posts that are there. Click on the upper right, and it says move out of, or remove from collection. I said, well, I think remove that. remove from collection. Yeah, I think is the terminology, at least in English. I think it is. But don't start this English American thing. Okay. <laughs> um, George Cohn. Yes. You have a question. Uh, no, I had a question. You oh. answered. 
All right, okay, that's great. In which that, was case, from, that was from earlier. All right, that's fine. I, I can see something pop up on the screen, but I'm in, I'm in the stream. I can see Sheila saying, uh, dramatic pause, Kim Armstrong, no extra charge for that. Unlike hand acting. Is that a reference to my hand motion? So, um, Monday, I know Sheila's Aaron Peters there, and Heidi's there on Monday, and Nikki. So we've got a bit of an Academy crew going on here. Um, got an interview on Monday. Zoltan Istvan, who's running for president, American president, U.S. president, uh, next year in, for the Transhumanist Society. It's great. We've had a few interactions on Google Plus, so he, we're doing an interview in the Academy because, and this is going to come out to collections, increasingly, and Heidi's going to like this, increasingly what we're going to be doing with the Academy is Plus Your Life and Plus Your Business are going to be coming together, and the events that we put on are going to be both, because it's going to be serving the members and whatever they're interested in is going to be available. If you go to my collections, Life, the Universe, and Everything, which I say is very much the life one, there's a lot of stuff about singularity, there's a lot of content on artificial intelligence, etc., etc. So that's very much, yeah, that's an aspect of it. Personal development, flow states, been doing loads of things with that, that's the life. The business one, it's business, connecting the dots, which is very much, you know, the, the focus here. So the academy's there. You're going to get a sales pitch for, for 10 seconds. Plusyourbusiness.com forward slash academy. Love to have members. Uh, if you join, $95 for the, for the month. And if you don't like it, I'll even give you your money back. But hopefully we'll wow you and have lots of content and lots of connections and experience and so on. And we're just, we're building, folks. It's coming. And so the content that you've had on the show is kind of typical content of what we do in some of the other levels, whether it be how to build up pages, how to build up communities, um, how to form a tribe. How to, they've got a lot of content, and we'll guide you along the way, not just on Google+, but on building authority and connecting you with some of the, the top people in the world, which leads me to next week, before we come and say our goodbyes to everybody, next week, dramatic pauses, Matthew, I don't know. Um, is Matthew saying what's all on the dramatic pauses? I don't know. It's just one of those days. The... I think, pretty sure next week we have a lady who is going to be talking, Elka, I've actually interviewed her in Metro in Real Life, she's going to talk about how she's made, over the last four years, consistently, over $100,000 a year using Zazzle.com. She's amazing. And she's amazing. She's great. So we're going to be having that as a public show next week. That's the sort of stuff that we do in the Academy as well. So I help everybody find their groove. Thank you to George. Do you want to say goodbyes? And thank you to Mary. Thank you to Travis. And thank you to Roy Bitzer. And thanks to Matthew and Carmen and Sheila and Roxanne and Peter. And if you have questions, if you're in the Academy and you have questions, please come into the Academy. And hopefully I'll see more of you there over the next week. I'm around. Take care. See you all.